Hello, my lovely wine dabblers, and welcome back to Wine Reform. So it's been a couple weeks since we've touched our wine. And today, we are going to be degassing, stabilizing, and adding fining agents to our Viognier. But first, we're going to take our final gravity using our hydrometer and our wine thief. Remember when we took an original gravity in that first episode of making wine? Well, today, we are taking the final gravity. So what that means is we are measuring the change in density in our wine. So I went ahead and I got a sample and I am going to make sure to write down that final gravity. And here in the sheet, I'm going to be using the formula in order to calculate our alcohol by volume. And there it is. We've got 11.4%. I did note that this wine had a much yeastier quality than many I've drank, and it reminded me more of a Semillon, even though it is a Viognier. Uh, I also noted that it had quite a bit of carbonation because we hadn't degassed it yet. So now it's time to stabilize. What we're adding now are sulfites, and uh, sulfites are histamines, which is why some people react to them, but basically what the sulfite does is it helps your wine keep a little bit longer. So what we're doing is we're preventing oxidation from taking place as quickly, and there's the sulfites, and that should help your wine stay on the shelf. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna pour in those sulfites and use the drill and the stirring apparatus to give our wine a good swirl. And we're gonna do that for about a minute. Now what's happening is not only are the sulfites, well the extra sulfites being mixed in, the wine is being degassed, which releases carbonation and softens the flavor. Also, it was a bit full, so I kind of looked away for, you know, just a second and Well, you know what they say, say la vie. So at this point, what we're seeing is a degassed wine. And because it's been stirred, not only is the foam at the top, there's a lot of lees mixed in. And here comes the really fun part. So we are mixing in the chitosan and the kieselsol. We're starting with chitosan. Chitosan and kieselsol are both shellfish proteins which, when mixed, coagulate. And what that does is it helps grab the lees and drag it to the bottom. I describe it a bit like taking slime to a dusty keyboard. And once again we stirred it, but this time in the opposite direction. Now I didn't show this part, but uh, I went ahead and I put the kieselsol in there next and then stirred it in the opposite direction from that. But since it's basically the same step, I went ahead and omitted it. So now that we're all finished with that, I'm just going to go ahead and take out that handy dandy stirring stick. So now all that we have to do left is pop that three piece airlock back into our carboy and put our little wine baby to bed for another couple weeks until the next step. So that has been degassing, stabilizing, and adding the fining agents. We only have two steps left in the process. We've got one more round of racking and then we get to go ahead and bottle it. And while corporeal Alessandra is cleaning up, voiceover Alessandra is going to say thank you again for joining me for this episode of Wine Reform. It has been a blast to get to go through the winemaking process and show you guys how it's happening. If you like what you're seeing, please hit the thumbs up. And hey, if you really like what you're seeing, why don't you subscribe? If you want to know when my videos are coming out, uh, you'll be alerted right away if you go ahead and hit that bell. So please 
be sure to do so. I upload every week on Friday and every other week on Wednesdays, and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. <laughs>